Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Sagittarius's new love tarot reading for the month of August. This message is going to be for single Sagittarius's. We are first going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck here. Then we will dig a little bit deeper into the message. And we'll uncover what your person is thinking of and feeling at this time. Are you guys compatible? We'll also take a look into... Is this going to last? The longevity of this relationship? Is this something you truly desire? And then we'll look into the outcome. We'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something that you are interested in, you are more than welcome in joining us. So Sagittarius, let's see what we can see for you guys. For the month of August. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings all linked in the description box and Sagittarius if you like how I vibe you like how I interpret the cards you're more than welcome to subscribe everyone is always welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages so Sagittarius we have on the bottom of the deck express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture Keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectation. In past life relationship, you have known each other before, so this definitely could be a person coming back from your past that you have strong soul ties with, okay? It's also maybe somebody who you might have thought that it wasn't going to work or had, um, had at one point a strong relationship with, but something came in between you guys worth waiting for divine timing is at work this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so again this is seeming like a soulmate connection here that you've met in the past you've already had a relationship with this person and then retreat maybe um getting away getting away from society for a little bit i feel like there is a need here to kind of be a little bit open um in the month of august now here's the the sense that i'm getting i don't feel like you guys are going to run away to some tropical island together i do feel like you guys are maybe going to disconnect from other people and really focus on each other um, I do feel like this is a new type of energy that's coming in here. Let's get the traditional rider weight for you, Sag. Thank you guys all for the input on the other readings that I've done so far. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this this type of setup or the other I feel like I like this one better just because I have more room and I can lay out more cards but let me know in the comment section below this channel is geared more towards the viewers so let me know let's see here Sag what we can see for you guys for the month of August, the first couple cards out here is going to be how they're thinking and feeling about the situation. For Sagittarius singles, what does Sagittarius need to see here about how this person is thinking and feeling in the month of August?
type of ones. I see the four of swords. It's actually still sticking out. It's a lot of cards, so we're not going to take them, but we're going to take a look here. I feel like there is some toxic ties that you're working through this time. Five of Swords flew out clear over there. We're going to keep that card. Something's telling me to keep that card here. So there's definitely a situation here where I feel like you guys are going to be um, getting away from the world. Okay, so maybe this is just disconnecting your guys' phones. But I feel like here, Sag, this is a past person that's coming in. There's a situation here that happened between this person and another person. So maybe this is your current partner or the current relationship that you're in or walking away from. The person that's coming back here from your past. Um... I feel like they're a little bit conflicted at this time about coming forward because of that situation, whatever happened in the past. So they had a conflict with your current partner or you guys had a conflict about your current relationship, something along those lines here, Sag. Let's get one more card out here for this, how they're thinking and feeling about Sagittarius, Five of Cups. So I feel like they look back on that situation here, Sag, like regret, sadness, maybe they, you know, wonder what it could have been. I do feel like you guys are very compatible here. Um, I feel like they're... They may be waiting for you to move forward from a current situation that you're in. Let's get some clarification. Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. Okay, so this is telling me that I feel like they're going to come forward with um, some type of an offer, romantic offer. Um, maybe a romantic gesture of, hey, let's just get away. Let's take a staycation. Let's go get a hotel room and leave our phones at home and not tell anybody where we're at. And I do get the sense here, Sag, that you are, you're, you're most likely going to be open to this. Okay. This is almost like a secret lover. A secret lover here. So let's clarify the Knight of Wands here, Spirit, please, and thank you for Sagittarius. Five of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So, again, there's a situation here, and then the Star card. So, they are moving towards you. They are healing. They may be a little bit guarded from whatever had gone on between you guys in the past, which... We have the Two of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Wands. So this person here, remember, this is how they're thinking and feeling about this situation. I feel like the reason why they're a little bit flighty or a little bit impulsive here, a little bit hesitant to move things forward is because in the past, you guys had had a falling out. And this was very difficult for them to deal with here, Sag was very painful and the five of cups on the bottom of the deck maybe even broke them you know changed their perception on relationships heavily five of swords please and thank you spirit ace of cups and the world card. We're going to take a look at these other three, but those were the two that four. Mm -hmm. 
five of wands six of swords the sun card and the queen of cups so i feel like there is going to be an expression of love here they do have a lot of love here for you sagittarius i feel like this person is waiting look what's on the bottom of the deck <laughs> the hermit they're definitely waiting i feel like they're waiting for you to um move away from a situation that i feel like they may perceive as not serving you okay this is definitely like a secret lover you know waiting waiting around at for any chance that they can get to spend time with you this person has a lot of love for you sagittarius please clarify the five of cups for sagittarius singles new in love two of swords i feel like they are not paying they're trying not to pay attention to that this is more of like a subconscious hurt they may also be trying to heal from whatever you guys had gone through sagittarius i feel like they're trying to be practical be balanced about that past situation i feel like they're trying not to focus um i also want to i'm getting the inclination that whenever you're not talking to this person um they're thinking about the past okay so whenever you may be with your other partner or your main person um they're thinking about this past situation Please clarify the Knight of Cups. I do feel like there is compatibility here. I feel like this is the this is a person who has a lot of love for you, Sagittarius, and would do anything for you. Um, is the sense that I'm getting here. Temperance. Nine of Wands. I feel like they're really uncertain about you know if they should if they should try to move things forward or if they should keep things as they are it's like the nine of wands they're trying to find the balance but they're really guarded here they're trying to ignore the past but then when you think about when when you're not answering your phone or not in contact with them then this is that's when they want to think about all this um, past stuff the outcome is the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles on the bottom so i do feel like this is a this is a situation they're just waiting for their new beginning with you they're just waiting for that opportunity to come into your life and offer whew, four of wands on the bottom four of cups with the three of pentacles there may be a situation here sag that's going to happen where um they're going to stick around here no matter what we have the ace of wands four of cups three of pentacles no matter how much you withhold your energy as soon as you answer the phone they feel that i can't sleep at night i don't turn dun, 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 dun. <laughs> i don't know why i just thought of that song that's an old song bobby brown every little step um this person definitely thinks about you a lot here, Sag. I feel like this is a person who thinks that you guys have soul ties or a soul connection. And you very well may have a soul connection with this person. Five of Wands. There's a lot of conflicted energy here, okay? So this person is a lot of back and forth. And I feel like it has to do with whatever situation that happened between you and the conflict. So if this is you and this person or this is you with the, your current partner. This 
So the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant. You have your heart set on something else while this person has their heart set on you, Sag. There is soul ties here. This is a person who has you have a soul connection with. But it's like there's a, a person you have a deeper connection with. It's almost like you have your focus on one person and this person has their focus on you. And with the Hermit, Five of Wands, Nine of Cups, you're their wish fulfillment here, Sag. They're willing to wait. They're waiting it out. They don't care. They don't care. They're willing to wait. Let's take a look. Let's pull a few cards here for your advice, Sagittarius, moving forward. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a look into Sun card. We'll take a look into how to prepare for this person, okay, if this is what you're choosing. We'll also take a look at what this person's blocks are, how to heal that, what your blocks may be to move this forward, message from spirit. And then we'll also pull out a few different oracle cards over there. Um, we'll pull out the guidance cards for the blessing the soul truth deck for the lesson if that's something you're interested in you're more than welcome in joining that link is below in the description box also guys that second link down there is to subscribe to vimeo it's 11 dollars a month and you get access to all the extended readings for all of the signs if that's something you're interested in you're more than welcome in joining us over there that link is below i'm in the process of setting up patreon and i have a few things in store coming for you guys for the months of september and october to kind of get gear everybody up to prepare for what's to come okay one more card for sagittarius please and thank you all links are below guys all links are below You've seen me shuffle, Sag. You've seen me shuffle. We have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. So here's what I'm going to say about the Nine of Pentacles. This is a self-care card, okay? This is making sure that you are stable, solid, and grounded within yourself, okay? All of your personal needs are being met through self, okay? You don't need any external person, place, or thing for your needs to be met, okay? I also see this connection being very stable, very solid, very grounded. This person is willing to work, put the work in, put the effort in, okay? Not sure what the situation is with your current partner or why you have a, a person that's waiting in the wings. It's not my business. My, this is a new love reading. Your new love is willing to wait for you to come around i feel like this is definitely a soul tie soul connection so they're willing to wait for you to release whatever difficult situation that you may be in or if you're working through some heartache you're working through some healing this person is willing to wait for you i also feel like they're they're willing to help in whatever way they can help you through whatever situation in the month of august this person may be offering to take to sweep you off your feet take you away on a staycation or you know just retreat turn off your phones and get to know one another you may be having some situations going on in your life where that's exactly what you need um i see you going with them however having that understanding just being aware that this person does think about you often so whenever you're not answering they're also thinking about you maybe easing their mind you know if you can if you notice that they're stressing you know you might not even notice you know so don't say that don't be like oh i went to a reading and the reader said most people are going to think you're crazy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so paying attention being aware of the energies is definitely important and and then if you're feeling that shift in energy um just saying something you know 
I notice that you're acting a little bit off or a little bit different. I just want you to know that, you know, when I'm at work or whatever, I do think about you as well. It's just hard for me to get back to my phone. Let's get a soul journey card out here for you, Sagittarius. If you guys are finding that this message was helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help get the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You guys are all amazing. Two cards came out. I guess we'll um, take them take them you have a lot of cards Sagittarius we're gonna have to find room we're gonna have to find room here let's see if we can fit them we're gonna have to overlap them a little bit here Whew, we got it empathy I am open to seeing both sides of a situation you don't truly understand others' motivations if you haven't lived their lives and seen the world through their eyes. It's so easy to judge another's behavior matched up against your own and label it as right or wrong, but you're missing an important part of the equation, the other person's history and personal path. We are all sparks of the divine with a purpose here in the physical dimension and we can all exert our free will. Some of us have lost our way along the path to love and it is a human reaction to judge others before examining their journey through their eyes and with compassion. Your job is not to judge. Your job is to love and to understand. and peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energies. This is a gentle reminder that balance in the mind is imperative in order for your soul to live its true nature. At this time in your life, you are to learn the value of peace and quiet and the joy of being still. One can never be truly connected to the source when the mind is engaged with unneeded chatter. Look around your life and be conscious of what elements you are taking you away from the peaceful nature of your soul. Who or what is interrupting the solitude? It is time to reconcile past hurts and perceived injustices. Your peace may also be fostered by changing your outside view. Create harmony around you physically with order and calm. Trust the inner voice of your higher self to create an environment in which you can truly be in tune with your soul. So I feel like this person is bringing you back to a place of peace, a place of empathy. I do feel like there is a situation that has happened here that's maybe caused a little bit of disruption in your life. And it may be having you questioning some things. And this person is taking you away from that. Allow that to take place this month. Allow that to happen. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's see here, Sagittarius. Power thought card for you guys. For the month of August. Please and thank you. I accept my uniqueness. There is no com competition and no comparison, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. I accept my uniqueness. 
feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. The main thing that I'm getting from this message is this is like a person who maybe you've kept a secret or is waiting around for you to process a past situation. I feel like slowly but surely this connection is going to come together. There is going to be happiness in this connection. Remember, the sun is one of the happiest cards in the deck. Um, but working through that hurt, that pain, processing that trauma is going to be important in order to bring this connection together. If they offer you an opportunity to get away, take it. Why not? What's it going to hurt? So... Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version of this reading, the link is below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.